You nervous? Always. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah, always. <laughs> Hello, welcome to The Locals. My name is Justin Belanger. The girl sitting to my right goes by Aaron Catherine Bell. Your cool. name, is your middle name? I, that was on a whim. So it is. You should know this. You've known me for... A few moments later. I've known you for like eight years, ten years. 13, is that right? 13 years? Since grade 6. I think it's 14. Actually, 15. Since we were 12. So yeah. we're, no, yeah, 12 years. Yeah. That sucks. Aaron, you just got back from Africa. I did. What, that must have been the most amazing experience of your life. You were there for a year. Yeah. Elaborate. Tell me a story. What happened over in Africa? Oh. Why Africa? What's, what's so the, what's... many stories, so little time. You chased a goat in Africa, someone told me as well. Why are you chasing <laughs> goats in Africa? What's... It's my job, man. It's what I get paid to do. You get paid to chase goats. So tell do. me the actual I story. Mean, what happened behind it? So I was picking up odd jobs, and I ended up landing a job as a manager at an eco-lodge on the coast of Kenya. Anyways, we did this whole beach cleanup, and it's a huge celebration. And at Kenyan celebrations, we have goats. Uh, to eat and I mean when I was told that I was in charge of going to fetch the goat to catch it put it in the back of the van and then bring it to the chef to get killed so was, when you was, sorry I gotta interrupt you yeah. there when you say catch do you mean like rodeo cowboy bring it in or do you mean, I mean like, they like they didn't like paint. last to it but it was like full on just f fucking running at it and jumping and hurling yourself and hoping that you land on top of it um, I guess goats are that many, quick. many failed yeah. attempts. Yeah, so well, they might be. I don't know. I well, and it was. I mean, it was hard because part of me, I think, wasn't really trying that hard because I don't eat goat. I mean, I it was totally against. I didn't want to kill this poor little guy. Being you a were vegetarian. a vegetarian, yeah. Aren't you? yeah. So I didn't want to kill it, and so I was like, I don't want. I, I secretly don't want to have to complete this job. So you're but just I like half trying to, to okay. get paid to make a little, yeah. Anyways, I ended up getting some locals to help me out. The locals? Um, yeah, they know how to catch a goat. We know My how to catch. My girl from Canada doesn't know how to catch a goat. What could you translate a goat? What do, what do locals in Halifax know how to catch? Fish. Yeah, they, <laughs> hey, Jesus, that was good. We know how to catch fish. That's a, <laughs> a lobster. Like, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, it would you be the that? obvious answer. So, yeah, so yeah, just... <laughs> don't make fun of me, all right? I'm just... Trying to help you. Okay, okay, let's get off the topic of goats. Okay. Let's move on to move ducks. On. Oh, because I know God. you did, while you were living in Halifax, you owned two ducks, I believe. Was it two ducks? It was two ducks. You owned two ducks, and they lived in your garage. Yeah, I broke a 20 for those babies. Elaborate. Uh, found them on Kijiji. Ducks have always been my spirit animal. Love them. Uh, they were for sale. Wasn't doing anything that summer. I mean, why the fuck not? So just buy two ducks. Yeah. So bought them. Was chatting about it. People heard. Word got around. I mean, being from Halifax, being local, word gets around. Tommy, uh, he was chip all, guy. He was on last episode, yeah. actually. Uh, so chip guy. He was also, I was his prom date. You went to prom with Tommy? Yeah, back in 2009. Uh, Jeez, I didn't know that. Yeah. So he... Um, I have to give him the credit of naming my ducks. They were cheese and quackers. Uh, Indian, I was told they were Indian runner ducks. Basically, they lived in my house until my parents kicked them out. Then they lived in my <laughs> garage. Your parents the, kicked ducks out of the house. Well, yeah, they basically were like, hey, our house smells like a farm. You need, they need to go. Don't know if you're allowed to release ducks into these ponds. Pretty sure it's legal. Mm. Pretty sure I shouldn't be saying this on the show. If it's going to go up on the internet, but whatever. No one watches this. Don't worry. All right, cool. Name was never released. I guess now is when I have, like, my whole confession era. <laughs> I admit that I was the one. 
maybe I'm CBC happy will that I'm do here like to be with yeah, you. yeah, I mean maybe like CBC will do like a six story on. It's Quackers. like when LeBron left uh, Cleveland to go to Miami. It was like a big news oh, coverage. Okay. This is going to be like a thing for you now. Yeah, You're I mean maybe home. me and LeBron should meet up. And, You're like, taking your talents back to I Africa. I can like yeah. Yeah. We can talk about it. I just want to say first of all that I just want to thank your parents on this. Thank you for inviting me to the Christmas party. <laughs> You guys are more than generous to invite me. And I just want to apologize to your parents. I'm sorry for last Christmas party sneaking in the back door. We should have came through the front door. Yeah. And uh, I, I do apologize. So I just want to put that out there. Set the record straight. Wasn't professional at all. I'm very sorry. It was very okay, amateur of me. On that it was note. A full year ago. On that note, we're going to end it there. Yeah. End it on a low note. So, Aaron, <laughs> thank you uh, for coming on the show. I Thank wish you. you the best of luck when you get back to Africa. Yeah, and Tell I'll see you over there. Next episode will be when you're over there. Bye. You got to get needles when you go to Africa. And he has a phobia. I don't do needles. And you got to get three needles in one sitting. That's just not going to work for me. We'll get to you <sighs> nice and sound. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> All right. We're out of here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of The Locals. We'll be right back. Next time on the locals, Demetrius Ferguson. They look really nice. Like, hey, you see these ones? These are only worn twice. And I had these in 2012. These 2012 releases. Wow.